Walter? <laughs> ZZ Top. Yeah. I, I had a, I, I was like, they did a ZZ Top cover? Yeah. How, where'd that come from? You know what? In all fairness, to a tip of the hat to my buddy, Trent Reznor, he, we did a cover of Get Down, Make Love by Queen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what are what? Because I'm not, I mean, you know, I'm not, I don't know, I didn't get it. And you're you're a ministry a, boy, right? Basically? Or I was puppy, more of a, I was the yeah. ministry skinny puppy guy yeah. and constantly, dude, let's do heavy and gross and yeah. mean. And he was kind of more, you know, well, you got me working so hard, <laughs> working my hands until they bleed. I'm not going to sing like that tonight, by the way. <laughs> uh, but, so, you know, I instantly thought, well, there's one person to call, and I called up uh, Bob Marlette and, you know, Phil and, and, and uh, a various cast of players came in, and um, we just sat there and uh, pounded the song out. I, I knew that we couldn't really play the guitar solo, and, and, and it, I, so I just went, like, fully into, like, the, the old-school filter sound from Short Bus, yeah. and we just did, like, an industrial version of the song. And I, I knew that Billy Gibbons was an industrial fan because he used to hang out with Al Jorgensen in 89. Wow. So I, I, I figured it was a good thing. And then, of course, when, when Billy Gibbons like called the managers and said, I love the filter track. That's the one, man. Make that the single. And, wow. You know, have that. Wow. That must have been quite... Yeah. Um, because, I mean, I, yeah. literally, there's, there's, I, I don't think we, we could have done the guitar solo, and his guitar solos are so famously epic and beautiful, but I thought it was, I I think, I still think that, like, their fans would understand the interpretation as being, uh, you know, creative and inventive, as does Billy, and so I, I look, I, you know, I, I, we have a lot of fun, we, we, you know, we love their fans, we love, you know, the song. Our management company was so they were like hey so you know come on over to us and, if, and when you can do this this cover and I said I'm only gonna do give me all your love and they're like why and I said because I can scream it I can like right. belt it out from the rooftops it was a good know. video too back in the day uh, yeah yeah I know I wonder what we're gonna do if we get a chance yeah. to do a video you got, you got any ideas Johnny uh, it's all up to this man. it's all up to it's all up to well, Johnny, Mr. Patrick what do, you, what do you think about the idea of theming it Paying an homage to uh, to gum uh, gummo or no yeah gummo yeah. the uh, he's, home. he looks like yeah. he's down that's with a, it so I sure let's bring it on I want to do yeah. something like that but more Texan not Cincinnati yeah. more yeah, yeah, Texan yeah. I'm into that and and just make it like a also I was thinking about maybe like because um, we have a we have a Mexican right here in our in our. <laughs> In our midst. In our midst. Nice. He's a Mexican American. And, uh -huh. and we, I, I love the movie Machete. Okay. <laughs> and I wanted to make a textploitation. Textploitation. A textploitation film of the shenanigans that I've had in Texas. Uh huh. You know, one of the that greatest are not, states. They're not fully legal, though, are they? Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, there's been some crazy nights. There's a lot of fun memories. There's a are lot you? of craziness. I'm glad I didn't know my wife <laughs> back in the day. Back back then, because she would have been like, "What?" She may but, not uh, have. Yeah, she may have uh, steered clear. Yeah, she was like, "That's why you're wearing a cowboy hat." I'm like, "Anybody who goes to Texas, gotta wear a cowboy hat." You, you mm -hmm. come out wearing a cowboy hat and some barbecue on your face. And you got some, you got some pork pork. What's what is it? Pork pork. Pulled pork. Pulled pork. You take that pulled pork and there you uh, go. You know what I'm saying? She. You, you live with And then you show? start. I, and then yeah, you start just, saying. You start <laughs> saying things like, I, I think we should just put some democracy out there and let it spread around a little. Bit. <laughs> change your change your ideology to change your theology to an ideology. It'll work. Come on, democracy. Come I like on. that. I like that. You're watching good. our watching our Congress fight like these cats and dogs just to win. Not to, not for the good of the American no, people. To win. Just no, yeah. just to win. Democracy works. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> he could do uh, voiceover work too, he, huh, Phil? He is a walking cartoon character. He really is. <laughs> now you do some work. Yeah. 
I did, I've done a couple you, things. You're the famous I, burger guy. I was, yeah, for uh, 11 years. I Funny was, thing is, he never eats. I, I've never eaten at Carl's Jr. You've never, never eaten Carl's Jr.? Never, never, never. I call it the best restaurant I've never eaten at. But yeah, for 11 years, I was the guy who said, you know, like, without us, some guys would starve. Yeah. Yeah. All that that's fun. you. That's definitely you. That's. Yeah. 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 Do you enjoy that work? This is your. This uh, is the fun gig right here. This is the fun gig. Filter. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I, I I love doing voiceover work. I I don't have to uh, get dressed. I can work from home. Um, I have done some commercials naked. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> uh, and yeah, it's 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 a great gig. I I have a portable rig. I uh, I did some commercials on the tour bus yesterday. Wow. Naked. Uh, no, no? Um, Johnny wouldn't let me get naked. Oh, Johnny. So, Johnny, yeah, you're no fun, man. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> he's not, he's not fun. So, and you work for CBS or something? Yeah. Come yeah, on now. I, <laughs> I'm opening it up for right, you. Go for right. it. Yeah, no, I worked, I worked for CBS for a little while. I was doing some uh, of their, uh, their their commercials. I was I was voicing, uh, they had that show, um, The Defenders, with okay. Jim Belushi and, uh, and another guy. I can't remember his name. Um, but Some yeah, I, I was like, you know, the Defenders next on CBS, and I got fired uh, because I uh, went to Iraq with with Filter um, to That's entertain wrong, our troops man. for a week. I gave him a month's notice that I would be gone, and uh, didn't find out until I got home that I'd been replaced uh, because I was entertaining our troops. Wow! So, yeah, CBS, yeah. thanks a lot for that. Well, their shows suck anyway, so go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I, ex I. Want to play on David Letterman? Though. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. So we'll be nice. Well, uh, David Letterman's cool. Actually, like we were the last band that played before his big open heart surgery. Oh really? Yeah. And he was really cool, man. 